All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Dushar Mehta. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and a faculty of orthopedics. Uh, this is a small uh, video in which I will be addressing to a very common query, which is put across, you know, from this topic of spondylolisthesis of spine. I will be talking about Meerdings classification, or you can call it as Meerdings grading. So it is one of the grading that is uh, used in spondylolisthesis to assess the grade of spondylolisthesis. It is based upon an X-ray. I mean, we have to get an X-ray to assess the grading. Uh, the X-ray is usually of the lateral view. I'm sure on this X-ray, you can very well see the vertebral body of L5. You can see the vertebral body of S1. You can see a forward slippage as well. Now, the point is, the fundamental is, the basic is that it is based upon the ratio. Ratio of what? Ratio of the overhanging part of the superior vertebral body. So I'm sure you can see that the superior vertebral body L5, you can see the portion which is overhanging. And what I want you to understand is that you have to consider the inferior vertebral body and you have to draw an anteroposterior length. So you have to draw a line which is basically connecting the anterior most part of the inferior vertebral body to the posterior most part of the inferior vertebral body. After connecting that anteroposterior length of the inferior vertebral body, then you have to divide it into equal four quadrants. I'm sure you can see that equal four quadrants are there. So 25, 25, 25, 25, like four quadrants are classified. Now you have to assess, you have to assess that the overhanging part is occupying how much, you know, quadrant. Like if I give you this idea, so this is somewhere in the uh, somewhere in you know uh, uh, somewhere in the second grade, so it is probably more than half of the second grade and close to the third grade. Now why I'm saying this is because for the first grade we consider it as 25 percent, second grade is basically 26 to 50 percent, third grade is 51 to 75 percent, fourth grade is 76 to 100 percent, and the most interesting part is basically the last one which is more than 100 percent and that automatically means spondyloptosis that means there is a complete slippage there is not uh, there's no overlapping there is no you know contact between the two vertebral bodies now so that's that's the worst thing to happen so i'm sure by now you must have understood the mating staging in which we have to cal calculate a ratio which is the overhanging portion of the superior vertebral body but how do you take it you have to take the inferior vertebral body and along its superior aspect you have to take an anterior posterior length you have to divide it into four quadrants assigning 25 percent to each quadrant then you have to see the posterior most part of the superior vertebral body is falling in which quadrant and according to that you can grade spondylolysis and you take your call accordingly I would like to share one more image here. So this is one more image, although it's just the same. So I just wanted you to see this image as well. So if I draw, like if I now, you know, if I wish to draw everything for you, so I would say this is the superior vertebral body, the L5. This is the inferior vertebral body, the S1. I'm sure you guys can see the slippage. Now you have to see an antero posterior length of this body when you join this particular length okay when you join this particular length then you divide it into four equal quadrants 25 25 25 25 okay and now you have to see whether the posterior part of the superior vertebral body is falling into which quadrant and according to that you are going to classify but bottom line remains the same that one is uh, 0 to 25 this is 26 to 50 this is 51 to 75 this is more than 75 so I do hope that this mating staging, which is an important X-ray staging of spondylolisthesis to assess the grading of listhesis is clear to all of you. So thank you so much. I'll be coming up with more video solutions of some routinely asked queries again. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.